Let's appreciate Pastor Donji. Allah to Japiga Kelele. We have not shouted at Uja Shangilia Buana. So we can do it once. Lennox just come to the keyboard. Let's be on our feet. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to celebrate Jesus. Louder and in our church, to mependa kelele sana. So in your church, if you don't have making noise, I'm so sorry. Hallelujah! Amen! Jesus! Let's give him a mother to shout. Hallelujah! Jesus! Just receive our seats. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for your presence in our midst. We thank you for this time that we want to listen to your word and even the time we have in your presence, O oh God. All the glory and all the honor back to you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Benche. For the first time, I'm standing here to share the word of God. And I'm more humble just to stand there. And he gave me a topic. As a good teacher, but I may not just come in and uh, come up with my own. So we're going to talk about binding the strong man. Are we binding the strong man in what service? <laughs> what is binding people? <laughs> is the strong man binding us or we are binding the strong man? as the things are going. I was telling somebody that what's going on, it looked like if rapture is taking place, whereby two people are together, one is just disappearing, just like that. And in our land, we are really affected. Buana Sefewe. Praise be to Jesus. But one thing I know, the God whom we serve, is victory each and every time. So let's just go to the word of God from the book of Mark chapter 3. Verse 27. Mark 3.27. Thank you. The Bible says, in fact, no one can enter a strong man's house and carry up his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can rob his house. Meaning that even the Bible recognizes there's a strong man. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a strong man. The Bible recognizes that. And the Bible says nobody can enter into his house and take something or rob him unless he first ties him up. And today we are talking about binding a strong man. But sometimes we, we, we began some prayers in Marsabit with other pastors and I heard how things were going on. The first thing was spiritual mapping declaring warfare that you are trying to pull something down. And uh, as time is going by, I'm not saying that there were wrong approaches. Hallelujah. But as time is going by, or as time was going by, I came to learn that maybe it was not that much effective. Because we were looking on we come together, we declare spiritual warfare. So do we do some research, we do what, things that sometimes we are not in line with the word of God. But uh, I came to learn that uh, for us to bind the strong man in the land, it is you. Hallelujah. Even if we come here to pray as a church, 
but can you take it as you as a person as an individual and i think uh, i'm going to talk more about jesus today i'm going to talk more about jesus i came to learn that it is you because uh, when we still think members are looking at the pastor to bind the strong man pastor is looking at the members this church is looking for another church it is you as a person you as an individual it is very very hard to bind the strong man in marsabit when you've not bind the strong man in your household in your church in your mind in your business in your job bwana sifere you cannot win the battle like that jesus was not confused even for a single minute and this is one thing that all the churches in marsabit men of god children of god those who are born again they were supposed to come back and know this battle is an individual battle you as a person because jesus was just jesus as himself but at the end of it everything worked at this command hallelujah so we have to reach that level that you will open your lips you will utter a word and it will come to pass praise be to jesus in the land of marsabit and my main story today comes from the book of mark chapter 4 verse 35 we're gonna read about it i think we really know this story many times we've talked about it mark 4:35 Jesus was going told his disciples that let's now cross to the other side and while they were going we know everything that happened as according to the word of God Mark 4:35 My Bible is too small God will bless me the big one The Bible says Mark 4 if we begin from 35 When Jesus sorry The Bible says Jesus comes thank you take this one So my Bible says winds and waves obey Jesus and on the same day when evening had come he said to them let us cross over to the other side and now when they had left the multitude they took him along in the boat as he was and the little boats were also with them and a great wind storm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling but he was in the stern asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said to him teacher do not care that you are perishing then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm but he said to them why are you so fearful how is it that you have no faith and they feared exceedingly and said to one another who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him then verse chapter 5 verse 1 says then they came to the other side of the sea to the country of gadarens and when he had come out of the boat immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with unclean spirits who had is dwelling among the tombs and no one could bind him not even with chains because he had often been bound with shackles and chains and the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles broken in pieces neither could anyone tame him and always night and day so this story goes like that let me just stop there and we know that at the end of it this man was rescued praise be to jesus Now you see I come to learn that every region has got a strong man Praise be to Jesus if 
every region has got a strong man. Even nations, they have got strong men. Every city, every land, even today, if you leave this place, you reach a solo, you realize that there's a strong man. There is a cloud in that area. But when Jesus was moving with his disciples, by the time Jesus reached in the sea, the strong man knew that Jesus is, is coming. What did he do? He tried to shake the wave. He tried to destroy that journey. They are so sensitive, even more than other people. If you are not spiritual, let me tell you that the strong man can be sensitive than you. Hallelujah. So, he tried to destroy the destroyer, the maker, where Jesus was sleeping inside there. And because he couldn't, Jesus came and at the end of the day, the waves remained calm. And at the same time, the man was delivered. The city of Gedazare, how do we call it? Yeah, that one. It was all delivered. But I want you to look at the disciples. I want you to look at the disciples. The work they continued to do while the strong man was shaking the wind, the boat, things were working out and things were not going on right. I know some of them in prayers, some of them did all they thought they can do to save themselves. Anxiety, that's where anxiety came. And that's one thing that I've seen even in our land, in our homes. When the strong man has appeared, including men of God, people of God, children of God, they fail to know the right thing that they need to do. Anxiety comes in. And at a point, these people threw everything. Yet look at Jesus. Jesus was sleeping and water was inside there with such kind of storm. Which kind of sleep was that? Yet this man could do, these people could do everything they thought they were going to do. And that's the best they could do, that they may save themselves. And at the end of it, Jesus is waking up and just speaking one word. Peace, be calm. And there was peace. So when you talk about uh, binding the strong man of Marsabit, I don't know if sometimes it's been going the way the disciples went through anxiety and working with things that we think can only work for us but we leave the element part. And for us to win this thing, we have to be stable. Jesus was stable. When he woke up, he had the answer in his mouth. And he was sure, and he knew what can work. Jesus was a moving altar. And that's why today I'm going to dwell so much on a personal altar. How you can build a personal altar to be strong that can win any battle that you face in life. Praise be to Jesus. Even maps of it. Spiritual mapping, declaring warfare, prayer and fasting. You will make even 90 days, 100 days, 180 days. But children of God will still live a defeated life. And they have lived a defeated life. Regardless of how many times they are busy in churches. They are busy in spiritual activities. At some point, they are still defeated. Some of us are strong men of sicknesses in the families, regardless of many activities that you do. Strong men in the mind each and every time. You see possibility, you come here, pastor tell you it is possible. Sickness can get up. There was a time I was uh, sharing in our church. It was one lunch hour. And I was telling them what was happening by the time when I faced the strong man of sickness in my family. My wife could say, I'm feeling well. I'm okay. But when we remain two of us in the night, she could, then, she could tell me, me, I'm dying. This thing. <laughs> I've always just been saying that I'm feeling well because 
I've been told I'm feeling well. In the last day she woke me up by Sasaba she told me, me I can go anytime. Hii kitu na nipeleka. That's the day I left without informing my friend yeah, that we are going to Nairobi. <laughs> Because I asked her, what do you want? Let's go to a local hospital very fast. <laughs> By Sasaba tulikuwa tumefika. Tulipata private car. Hallelujah. Bwana sifuwe. So, I come to learn that there is something that Jesus had. That these people, sometimes they couldn't know who Jesus was. Jesus was stable. Jesus was a moving altar. Hallelujah. In him was just an altar. Altar works. If you want to know that altar works, most of you are members of this church, including me, who also being fed in this house. There are so many things that can work in my life today. Since we began to interact, there is something which is built here. Hallelujah. But now, You need to take it and put it personal. That's why when I was saying, binding the strong man in Marsabit, it doesn't need a group. You as a person, just an individual. Hallelujah. You as a person, me as a person, if I can be strong enough, if I can build myself to become an altar, like Jesus, That's just one word. I'm going to utter peace in the sea. And when he went to the other place where they were going to, deliverance occurred. So binding a strong man doesn't have a formula. We don't need any formula. Hallelujah. Stop looking for formula. It doesn't have something unique. And one way to improve personal altar to be strong enough is holiness Jesus was holy holy men don't struggle to pray do you know my friend look at Abraham he didn't know even how to pray while making noise the way we can make noise here but that man was a moving altar he was a holy man praise be to Jesus one person who can choose to be holy can transform our own society can transform our own region and it can bring forth light that is lacking when other people are going to do spiritual marking in the forest going to pray for 30 days a holy man a holy man because holiness attracts God's light Bwana sifiwe supernatural intervention It's a reward that God gives to those who fear his name. It doesn't just come. So that's why every word that Jesus uttered, it came to pass. And Jesus was tempted in the wilderness in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and he came out to prove that his only is above the devil. He is above the devil. Nothing could stop it. But today, the reason why children of God will live defeated, the bit even today, people are joining even to pray like this. They don't live inside there. When we are walking through, God will worship you. Rama, Kanta, Zalaba, We utter every word. When you leave that, boy, that, that door, anything you feel like watching in a phone, you can watch it. Go as a fairy. Anything you feel like talking, anything you feel like speaking, you can confess anything that comes into your mouth. That's why there's strong men each and every time in our lives. This strong man, he looks to be strong, but this, this strong man is not a strong man at all. I love how Ben Isaac made it when he came here, when he was talking about the book of 1 Peter chapter 5. But the devil, he comes like a lion like it's not completely we are so much above the devil and look at all those people who walked a holy life in the bible look at david in the book of uh, is it first samuel 16 and 
when Saul as a king with all the army of Israel are defeated, what to do? If what a good is Goliath is speaking, one holy man, a young man, just coming and ending that story like that and getting the victory. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes it's not all about you looking for so many formulas that you've been looking for as children of God. And I'm not underestimating the power of prayer. Praise God. Let that prayer make you become a holy person. Holy people, there is light in them. No darkness can prevail in the midst of light. Hallelujah. So when we want to bind the strong man in this land, I talk about it begins with you as a person. Amen. Be holy. Be a holy person. Fear God. Not only when we are there, not only when pastor is saying, fear God even when you are sleeping, even when you are thinking in your mind. Fear God even when you are meeting your friends to story with them. Today somebody was trying to trick me, telling me, the reality is, Marzabit seems to be wrong. And I told him, can you imagine I'm going to Kesha each and every day, sometimes even alone, yet you tell me it has got so many chaos. I don't want to confess something that supports the work of the strong man. Praise be to Jesus. Even if you corner me at what point, because that one, I'm going to be like somebody who's seen by, by sight. But where we've reached, we don't see by, by sight. We have faith. We walk by faith. When the word of God says, that we shall live in peace. I want to repeat that word each and every time. That's what I want to confess. Even if they call me how. So, when we come about binding the strong man in the land, it will be very, very hard to bind the strong man of the land before you bind the strong man in your mind, in your thoughts, each and every time. Even when you have a machine on his there was a time I saw a certain pastor call all members of the church they become gods. Simu, ukiamuka sasaba simu. Usiku. Asugui. Simu. Simu ineza kuwa na kitu kizuhi na kitu kiba. But I know kitu kiba ya wei navuta watu sana kwa simu. Ulikuna pita tu kwa Facebook ukawona kitu you want to see. Hi, what is it? Hallelujah. <laughs> Ama kwa wazap, unahaza na status. The other day I was, I was blocking every person. This is status. How do we call it? Kabu metua status wezi yona completely. How do we call it? Muting. I was muting every person, every status in my phone. Because <laughs> I didn't want to see it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. So some of us, ata simu mekushinda. You want to bind the strong man with your <laughs> Simu. Or just waking up in the morning to pray. Yet you want to bind the strong man in Marsabit. In fact, he's just sitting, seated somewhere, just looking and laughing, watching, say, wow, this person is also binding me. Atom tutuake, piana sherekea, the way you try to work hard each and every time. Light will not only come through prayer, and leaving everything inside here. Let that prayer work out our lives, children of God. Don't be the same 2020, 2021, 2022. Speaking in tongues, 2020, 21, 21, 2022. Me, Hallelujah. But by last day, I could speak in tongues maybe for more than one hour. So I to turn even for a day. We can walk. I will not be tired. <laughs> we can move. Hallelujah. Light. This strong man is darkness. He needs light. Praise be to Jesus. What does he need? He needs light. That light comes from you. All these activities, giving, praying,
fasting coming to churches and every time it will bring forth light in your face that when you walk darkness is able to recognize that it makes you visible to the spiritual realm you are present in the field hallelujah that's what can bind the work of the devil that's what can bind the strong man in the land not speaking about the issues you need to carry light as a child of god in you no some of us i came to learn that even the way we are here if you don't open your mouth and say in a congregation that and i'm born again nobody will know that bwana safia nobody will know so lazima uji campaign here where people are you say okay i'm with leaf i'm born again i'm saved jesus christ is my lord and my personal savior it's good because we are speaking loud and boldly about our our faith but also there is somebody who cannot even say that and somebody will say this man it seems to be like a man of god hallelujah what is the way so because the strong man doesn't fear even prayer actually the devil let me tell you even prayer itself prayer that doesn't change a person that doesn't bring light in the life of a person the devil doesn't fear that the devil doesn't fear that completely so each and every time in our lives i've said that one way to increase the personal altar to be something that works hata ukiingia kwa nyumba ukiingia kwa familia you go to the office it will work for you it will work for you even in the churches we need to strengthen those altars bwana sifiwe we need to strengthen them and you as a person just you as you if you know that the if you could know that the burden of marsabit to be peaceful is lying in you as an individual without looking upon each and every one that one can make somebody to start looking for ways and just try to begin living a holy life what do you speak your lips begin begin to tame them your eyes begin to tame them and the main place where darkness occurs in a human body who is born again is in the mind leave alone these ones that you see around your mind can carry darkness your mouth speaks light <laughs> but where <laughs> what should speak light actually before it comes to the mouth is mind bwana sifiwe so how many you believe that we will live in peace in marsabit how many believe that we can live in peace in marsabit amen and we thank god for that it's possible if only 20 people in marsabit can live a holy life who cannot be compromised by anything nothing can compromise your faith the entire land will just change because right now i'm seeing the life of one person in this land is shaking things and they're being shaken zina tingizika hallelujah let's appreciate god for our pastor for the work is doing here so can you imagine this land could have 10 men like him 10 men like him in the change even in the same same way and we are praying that we will be growing each and every time we will continue to grow look at the book of john chapter 6 verse 38 john 6:38 Now this is the Jesus who bound every strong man wherever he went Galilee alienda oh sijui alienda wapi wherever he went there was light wherever Jesus went he didn't leave even a trace of darkness in that place 
And the one thing that strengthened Jesus like that, holiness, holiness is a weapon that children of God are living. We take the word, we listen to it more and more. And many times, we who are born again, we think that this word is now just for those people who are not born again. We really preach a lot to them. But we ourselves, if we are still speaking the same same words, the same same issues that these people are having, those who are not born again, what the world is saying, what the environment is saying, what the environment of darkness is speaking, then we cannot bind the strong man. The Bible says, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. The business of, of a believer who wants to have influence is to do the will of the Father in the land. That's where holiness is hidden. Hallelujah. Upon your mali holiness in the future. When you begin to do the will of God, you become conscious in your I've told you that Abraham, in the book of Genesis chapter 14, when Abraham went to rescue Lot, by the time Lot was attacked, just with a few soldiers, look at a holy man. What can defeat a holy man? What can defeat a holy nation? What can defeat a holy church? Hallelujah. And today, no even power, no voice. If it's there in churches, it do. Because me as a pastor, I know the lives of each and every person in the church. I know the struggles of each and every person. And it is our prayer that as they continue to listen to the word of God, the word of God is shaping them. Holiness is missing. If we can't find it in church, where will we find it? God is holy. God wired us to be holy. And every victory that I want you to have is hidden in holiness. Bwana Sifewe. Abraham defeated five kings, one man. With only 300 men, one man. With people who are not even trained. Holiness. But if you look at the story of Abraham, you will also know the character characteristics of a holy man. When he was parting ways with the Lord, for example, that man had godliness in him. Remember, Lord was not even called by God. Who was called by God? Abraham. Lord just found himself rich while walking with Abraham, without even knowing. But still in that, when they were now parting ways, Lord could have looked at the greener pasture. All those things couldn't scare Abraham, so long as I'm remaining with God in this dry land things will work well. Hallelujah. When Sarah died, if you read the book of Genesis well, you find that uh, they gave him even a land for free. Abraham said, I cannot take it for free because you people will say, you made me rich. Even in the book of Genesis 14, after rescued Lot, while in prayer kill Akitu, those kings, what did he say? No. God, you guys will begin to boast that God, you are the people who are making me rich. There was no godliness in him. There was more light in the life of Abraham. That's why he overcame and he defeated each and every kind of battle that he interacted with. So, it's so easy. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Without holiness, you will not see God. In whatever you do, if the heart is not pure, if the heart is not clean. So, when we are going to the battle... Be ready inside. That's where the victory is hidden. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not all about talking a lot. Kama kuongea, ingekuene a letter. Something good, speaking about issues. I think even here, we really talked more about the problems of this land. Looking for sympathy each and every time. And speaking, confessing the words of the devil. The way other people are speaking it. We repeat the same same word. Nekubaya. Kina umana. Raundi. Kina waka moto. Kina chomeka. Atuja yona kama hii. So, and that is the same same darkness that you are binding. Where is godliness in you? Abraham had God in him. He had God in him. And Jesus himself. If Jesus himself was God and he said, what I came to do here is to do the will of the, the Father. 
That one is where the strength of this victory lied upon. So in many things that you're doing as a child of God, when you want to bind a strong man, not only in Marsabit, I've said that this strong man is there in our families. Watu wa wonge kwa familia, watu wa is there in the workplaces. When the killer siku naona promotion yako ina kanyago. When you have any zawa is kanyagu, what do they have that you don't have? Bwana sifewe. This strong man is even there. Is even there. In your mind, you feel you are not enough each and every time. It tells you it's not yet time for you to begin doing this and this and this. This strong man is in our churches today. Zingine nilikuwa naona kwa TV watu wanapigana viongozi in the church. Kwa TV a big church watu wanashikana kwa TV. <laughs> eh? Watu wanapimana nguvu na pastor. <laughs> is this pastor strong enough? <laughs> Look at that. Then that is the place where we want the victory to come because there's no day God will work or God will bring anything good for this land or anywhere if it's not from his word and from his people. Hallelujah. So let's position ourselves better. Position yourself better. Be stable. Jesus was stable each and every time. Be stable. He only woke up and said, you guys, you've done a lot here. You've worried me people you've cried, you've made noise. Oh! But all that one has not saved you. But Jesus was a moving altar. He uttered a word. Peace, be still. Be calm. And everything came back to normal. So, I can tell you, holiness is one thing that increases personal altar to work for you. And each and every day, let's be hungry. May God restore that holiness in our lives. Because even in salvation, it reaches a point you think you become familiar with God. Now no need to ask for more holiness. You are okay. Things are well. You know, God gives us more grace. That's why we are still not winning so many battles in our lives. If there is something I long to do in my life, just to be a holy person in my heart. The fear of God, the true fear of God to enter into my life. It comes with light. And the darkness cannot overcome the light. Praise be to Jesus. When Moses came from the mountain after praying, talking to God, okay, he was saying that he was talking to God for 40 days and 40 nights. There was light in his face. When the children of Israel looked at him, he made loud noise. They couldn't approach him because they had demons. And light was coming in. Hallelujah. Jesus is the light of the world. God is holy. God is holy. God is holy. Is holy. In fact, the holiness of God, nobody can even imagine it. How it is. I don't even know how it looks. He is holy. He is holy. He wants you to be holy. He wants you to live a holy life. Each and every time. That is where there is power to bind even sicknesses in the family. You can't do anything you want. You can't be everywhere you, you feel. Listen to everything you want. Then you come, you begin to bind them. <laughs> we'll bind you. <laughs> One as a fair. You will, you will deal with this clearly. Thoroughly. Without any fear. Go to the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 19. The sons of Sceva. What happened to them? The Bible said that the devil worked on them accordingly, thoroughly. Jesus said, my work is to do the will of the, the will of the Father. What are you doing? Because through doing the will of the Father, holiness begins to grow each and every time. It just begins by coming to church, kidogo kidogo, unasikiza mafundisho, about giving, about tithing, naanza kutoa, personal prayer, prayers, prayer life of a person, you as an individual, kidogo kidogo. 
if you continue in it you realize that there are so many things that you have overcome hallelujah there are so many addictions that you have overcome and when you come to the point whereby you can name one, two, three, I'm above this then you can now begin to bind so many things so many things begins to die in your life the Bible says before we were born again we were darkness so if you are called John Soso John Soso the fourth name is darkness that one was also part of your part of your name Do look at it but as you continue as you continue and as Jesus saved us now that holiness it begins to come in it begins to come in it teaches a point that even aujana mbali sana kwa ukuru but there are so many things that umezikanyagelea already automatically zimepondokea tu bwana sifiwe there are so many strong men that have bound in your life so work on holiness it will build the personal altar the more you get holier the more you get holier the more you conquer greater battles the more you continue to desire in your heart to live a life that pleases god and this my prayer even all the churches in marsabit the more even as pastors the more we lead our members our members these are not the days of preaching so many messages that people have been preaching these are the days of seeking the face of god and living life that resembles the one that jesus lived that is where victory is hallelujah he made us in his own image and likeness his character but if we don't take the character we take the character of the of the devil and we call him our father but what you do does it show that god is your father where is the honor of god where are children of god being defeated actually each and every time because i really meditated on this when i was fighting so many things even me sicknesses or any any joblessness why are children of god being defeated each and every time show me one holy man in the bible who walked in the ways of the lord properly who just remained like that and when we talk about strongholds like now we are binding the strong man it reaches the level hata wachungaji gone are the days whereby the only devil who has cast ni kwa mtu tu kila siku in the name of jesus may god now give us grace we come to the city of marsabit we drive demons out of marsabit as a city hallelujah if you have the grace ya kutolea wanawake mashetani kila siku in the name of jesus i bind you may god now elevate us we know that even in a city like this there is a cloud of darkness that is raining in this in this city and is so much alive darkness alive in the city of marsabit darkness surely darkness is, is alive in the city of so where is light all, all these lights that we have where are they going to ama ni torch yenye na battery bwana sifiwe nikao mechukua torch yenye na battery hata kidogo ile kidogo kuna is it just to do to do this small ones the amount of light in your life holiness tukule kitabu kule neno la Mungu tuweke hapa na yondoe every thought in our minds that are wrong you are in church was up facebook my friend and you, are, you want to bind the strong man <laughs> we are also with you <laughs> tunatengeneza spiritual mapping we are planning for warfares no many of these things these warfares and plannings people do plan them in their lives bwana <laughs> sifiwe hallelujah there are always things of speaking what we are going to you know we are going to wage war against <laughs> i want to have a certain man of god saying that tulienda kuenda somewhere tulifika hapo <laughs> and the strong ones in that place they all came against us at a moment we shine to lerude tu what is it jesus could be an 
we need to reach a level of the, we reach an environment we need not to speak because you are light hallelujah you are audible you are loud you are visible visible. So, binding the strong man of Marsabit begins with you and I as a child of God. Work on your life. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Wacha tusipatikane all over. Or we just be familiar with the word of God in our lips. Tumazoya mungu sana. We've crammed so many things about him. But does our heart fear him? Even when we talk about holiness, how God is holy. When you imagine and sit down and begin to imagine and think how God is holy. But sometimes you reach that point. It will even change the prayers. Some of us, you can only cry for bread. Rarely have you come there and just feel deep imagine of how God is big, how God is great. Until your tears just fall down. How awesome he is. How mighty he is. How glorious he is. That's why we are still saying that darkness is living. It's alive and real in this land. Every day blood. Every day people are moving. Every day people are just disappearing. Without people knowing where they are going to. Hallelujah. You look at it. It's so sad. It's so sad. Where is our God? Where is our God? Where is our God? Because the God we may know who we serve is this God who one day protected Elijah against men who came to attack him. Is this God who gave David courage to come and slay Goliath in the midst of trained soldiers? Abraham, one person being lifted from one glory to another each and every time. And John the Baptist knew Jesus and he said, this man are not even worthy to untie the lace of his shoes. This man is holy. He's great. That is his nature. In fact, we are wired to win when we live a holy. That's why the more continue to take in the word of God, the more we continue to be busy in the house of God, the more we continue to engage ourselves in the activities. I told you, it teaches a time that even sicknesses, you don't know where they are. I was still telling you about my wife who was sick. The other day she was asking me that what really does God think about these people who are sick here crying each and every time? The more we come, there are so many battles. They just go strongholds. This man he comes from Atayia Marsabit. It can move. It can move. It can move. When we know our position as children of God. When we stop leaving Jesus inside there, when we leave that door, Yesu tulimuacha ukundania church anatungoja wakati wa morning prayers ama on sunday we come back we meet him hi jesus we are back again <laughs> you look at it that is exactly what happens so i think um, i will not speak a lot because i know i've covered exactly what i wanted to cover but one thing i want to combining strong man in your family, in your life, is you. Stop looking at a neighbor. Stop looking at bishops in Marsabit. To pray until something happens. You know, some people are also saying, these bishops will pray until there's a day to test us out in Mungu Meshuka. Stop looking at them. You. You as a person. God is willing and able and ready when he meets somebody who can align himself in his will. Many believers are living a defeated life. That's the truth. Because holiness it's no longer being needed. Once we are born again, we are saved by grace. 
Just go and do anything. If you give me my sins which I did kitambo zenye nafanya zaizi ya mesawa. Ame nisame hata zenye nafanya mbele bado ame. He has forgiven me. Then you come back and pray. Father forgive us for the sins that we committed knowingly and un- <laughs> unknowingly. <laughs> we were committing this was knowingly <laughs> if you knew them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holiness. Holiness. God is sad when you are crying. He is not happy. But when you prove to him that we cannot be compromised anyway. Look, the same thing Abraham was talking about. By the time Abraham gave his son, I was just imagining Abraham walking with his son, going to offer sacrifice to God. Three days, three nights. And God said, for sure, I have seen you really fear me. Those are emotional words. Sometimes when you read your Bible, you can pick how God or the Spirit of God can also speak emotionally. A holy man, ready to obey everything that God commands. We will win. Holiness, holiness, holiness. Holiness all over. So let's pause planning for spiritual uh, mapping. Kidogo. Let's begin to work upon our lives. Hallelujah. Let's begin to know the place of God in our hearts. That's where victory is hidden. That's where it's kept. And all, no mountain will stand in front of us. Every mountain will slay them. They will move. Hallelujah. Nothing will become impossible for a holy man. A holy nation. I'm not convinced that there is nothing that can stop in front of it. Because mwenye nafanya watu wa wane hapa. These are powers of darkness. A holy people in the city of Marsabit. They can overcome all this. So, Pastor, just come over. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share. Amen.